Hey guys, this is Di from Be Mommy with Style and this is a follow up to our surprise bag haul that I showed earlier and I showed these items in that and also some blind bags that the girls went ahead and opened and I have that video as well. But I wanted to go ahead and show these items because these are the items that the girls didn't see or we got later on that I'm going to be putting aside to make my own surprise eggs and these will literally be surprises. So I wanted to show you guys these and show you the ideas I had to make our own surprise eggs. I also am probably going to be ordering some version of the chocolate one but I wanted to try to make my own at home because there's nowhere around me thus far that I've been able to find the chocolate eggs not even the Hello Kitty ones at Dollar Tree they're all sold out so what I did find at the Dollar Tree are these two hollow chocolate eggs and what I'm going to try to do with these is actually open these up and insert my own prize and try to seal them a little bit easier surprise egg I have these clear ones which I can fill these up with items obviously as well and also the Play-Doh eggs are a big hit and easy to make too so I have this box of Play-Doh to make surprise eggs with and then a couple of these eggs which I showed earlier to do as well. When I was at the Dollar Tree later on trying to find those Hello Kitty eggs, I found this little Cinderella key charm which I can take off the key charm and this can be inside a surprise egg. We got these frozen stickers which I can cut up and put in um, sheets of two or four and put those down inside an egg. I also found these gummies and stickers and Princess and Frozen and they have cute little sticker sheets and different um, themed gummies. So. I can put those down inside the eggs as well. And then at Target, the additional things that I picked up were these My Little Pony blind bags. And the neat thing about these is they're not technically blind bags. The girls didn't see when I actually grabbed these, but I kind of rooted around real quickly. And there's a little peak hole where you can see which one it is. So if you sit there and you match it up with the picture on the back of the box, you actually know what you're getting. So for me, I knew what I was picking out, but there'll be a surprise for the girls whenever they open them up in an egg. So I actually picked out um, Rainbow Dash, which is in this one, and I believe Flowery Wishes. We'll have to find a name after they're open. But a pink one with um, some green hair. So I picked out those. And the nice thing about these is they're ages three and up. My feelings on the ones that we opened earlier is the Littlest Pet Shop was way too tiny for Natalie. Definitely not Natalie's size. Natalie could have the My Little Pony ones. She could have the... This size that we got at Dollar Tree, which is three and up. These say three and up. They're pretty tiny. I wouldn't give them to a child that puts things in her mouths regularly, but um, these do say three and up, so I think both girls will be able to use those. And then the other thing that I saw is they had a package of Palace Pets, little figurines, back in the toy section, and I was really about to grab those. They were $17. We went over to the book section, and we found this great book. And it has different things here in the front on each different pet. It's got a big play mat. And then down in here, there was actually more figurines in this than the figurine thing in the toy area. And this was less expensive. This was $12. So in here, there are 12 figures. You can see if you guys know your palace pets, you know there's like Treasure, there's Barry, um, there is Daisy. There's all kinds of different palace pets. My girls will recognize all of these. So each one of these could actually be in their own egg with maybe like some stickers or just or their own Play-Doh egg. So I thought that this was a really great find and a great way to use these. Um, dual purpose and then you have this great set to use them with after the girls have opened them so I was really happy I was pleased with this idea it's $12.99 you can see the sticker on the back and I found that at Target so I felt like that was a really really great find and there is the play mat that comes in the back so I thought that was a great kind of find and I know that they have things like this at Barnes & Noble a lot of times too with these different figures so it's a great way to get the figures all at one time because it's basically like a dollar a figure so I'm going to get to work making the eggs and I will show you guys how I do that as well. But I wanted to show you this kind of secondary haul that I'm going to be making all my eggs with. So we're going to have palace pets down inside eggs, these little cars, these my little pony things. Oh, and then these I found at Target. They're like the little squishy thing that Bella opened earlier, which she loved, absolutely loved. Age on these is four and up. And they were squishy, so definitely don't give them to a kid that puts things in their mouth. But she loved opening this, and this is about as close to the kind of surprise egg kind of capsule that I found. So we'll put these definitely down inside some eggs as well. And she did not see that these went into the cart, so these will be a surprise as well. We got two My Little Pony ones and one Little's Pet Shop one. I found these at Target in the Easter section, but I did also see these later at Toys R Us when we were looking there. 
So that is our second haul for the day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying CLA's hauls. And these are gonna be part of their Easter treats and part of just fun activities that we do prior to Easter as well. So I'm gonna start putting these together, which I'll show you what I ended up doing, if this works or not, and what I do with the Play-Doh eggs. And then I'll definitely let you know as it gets closer when the girls open them, what they think about them. So thanks so much for watching today and have a great day.